In this video, we are going to install Jedi model on our local system and we will see how exactly it does GUI grounding. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. I think this would be best described by showing you an example. If you go to their project page and if you scroll through it, you will see, for instance, there is an example of formatting the document. So the prompt here is that uh, let's say this this is a text document where you want to strike out the last paragraph so let me start it by scratch we have given this text prompt to the model that we want to strike out the, the last paragraph model has detected in the gui and has st stricken it out now for instance we want to do some sort of spreadsheet calculation let's say we want to say that we want to add a new column named profit and calculate the profit for each week so let me run this so what here is happening is that model has got this ability to understand and interact with computer interfaces based on natural language instructions this model jedi which comes in two variants 7 billion and 3 billion was trained on massive data sets of 4 million examples that the researcher synthesized through multi-perspective decoupling of tasks covering complex real-world GUI interactions including software common sense layout understanding and fine-grained manipulation capabilities across web and desktop environments for desktop for example if you look here we just want to uh, update file explorer view settings to show hidden and system files there you go so this is where you can easily use this model because it is quite grounded in this GUI interaction and you can see that it is going step by step. So let me now take you to my terminal and we will start installing it. We are going to use Ubuntu and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48GB of VRAM. I am starting by creating a virtual environment. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to Master Compute in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs, so please do check them out. Okay, so virtual en environment is created. Now, let me git clone the repo. And by the way, this model is Apache 2 licensed and based on Quen 2.5 vision language model. Okay, so the repo is cloned now and i will also drop the link to it in videos description now let me install the requirements from the root of the repo while it does that let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are matrix matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as a b tests for your marketing captions that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies Everything is installed. Now you can launch the Gradio demo by running this demo.py. And the first time when it is run, it downloads all of these models. So let's wait. And now it is running on our local host at port 7860. So let's access it. There you go. So Jedi GUI grounding demo is now running. Let's first select some of the examples and then we will um check out our own so first i'm just going to maybe go here and you can see that this is a screenshot of an excel sheet and instruction is to select the c9 cell and it has selected the c9 in this one so i'm just maybe i can open it in a new one maybe let me try to open it there you go so it has selected the c9 in the red dot as you can see here pretty good okay let's now try to use one of our own image so i'm just selecting this image from my local system it's it's just a screenshot of my own channel so maybe i will just say uh here like click on videos sorry videos that's it let's click on submit it is working let's check the vram consumption it is very quick by the way 
तो कंज्यूमिंग ओवर नाइनटीन गे गो फी रैम नॉट बैड ओके देर यू गो सो यू सी हाउ एक्यूरेट हाउ फास्ट दैट वॉज इट हैज क्लिक ऑन दिस वन सो मे बी आई एल जस्ट से कैन आई से मे बी क्लिक ऑन मैनेज वीडियोज लेट्स क्लिक हेयर so yeah vram consumption is staying there which is good there you go it is clicking on manage videos and on the top one it is also giving you the coordinates on the screen so you can very easily use it for even some sort of game creation really now let's try to use it for some another image maybe i'll just go with i'm just going to select something which i have just created so maybe i'll just say uh select the back button let's click on it there you go so it has selected the black button it is very very accurate and fast so you can see that it is enabling us to um have some sort of ai agents maybe to understand and interact with computer interfaces through natural language commands so for instance if i just go with this one and uh, how about if i say uh click on all large what size okay let's see if it is if i if it gets confused or not it's so only one it it has only selected this one because the image is bit well formed but it has done well maybe i'll go with something like this and i will say that maybe click on click on maybe i will just give it in all lower case and let's use it let's me go down so it has given the citation here really good now let me see if it can do the numbers i'm just going to give it 604 here let's wait for it there you go perfect so look there could be lot of use cases for this model like you can use uh, it for automation and assistant and like i'm just doing it here you can use it for computer use agents where you can have your ai assistant that need to perform complex task on um computers like navigating software automating workflows or even complete multi step procedure across different applications maybe you can use it for accessibility and training where it can help the users with special needs uh, with software and you can use that in a software to assist them in training scenarios or just for general purpose usage the key advantage here is that it works across diverse software environments such as web desktop and mobile and also understands complex interface layouts and i think quite uh, practical for real world computer automation tasks rather than just simple elements detection and we have used lot of other models and this seems quite an improvement and again as i said it is an apache 2 license which is always great let me know what do you think please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so thank you very much